Mascot Towers is sinking. Let's have a look. Good evening everyone, I'm Florian Heiser and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I thought tonight we'd look at some articles that came out this morning and discuss Mascot Towers apparently sinking. Now there's some suggestions that this is due to the new construction that happened on the northern side of the development on Church Street. So this is from The Australian. It was published this morning. So engineers record alarming downward shift at Mascot Towers. This is by Jer Jessica Cortis. Residents and owners of units in Sydney's troubled Mascot Towers are being assured the building is not sinking despite being told to remove all their possessions after an engineer found part of the building appeared to be moving in a downward motion moving in a downward motion that, that sounds like sinking residents were told via email last night to remove all their possessions out of the building what does that tell you that doesn't fill us full of confidence does it as engineering updates are changing regularly we would recommend all possessions are removed by owners and tenants the email read well at least they've got the option to go in there and get their possessions I know if I couldn't access my servers or equipment working from home, it would be a nightmare. And I mean, on, on a bit of a, a side note, I was talking to Rachel about, uh, you know, living in multi-unit accommodation. And she was telling me that uh, after the experiences she had with us sharing a tenancy, <laughs> uh, not the last one, the one before that with the landlord and his staff using my car park, she knows that I can't really share. So we never looked at that. It's just all that today. You're learning something new about your wife every couple of years. So, as engineering updates are changing regularly, yep, I read that already. Engineers observing the 10-story high-rise conceded in the email they had recorded movement in the building and expanded internal monitoring of the high-rise. Data is being monitored and reviewed by engineers. A coordinating engineer has identified a new issue for the building. It appears that the building is moving in a downward motion the engineering update reads well that's not really surprising if you've got cracking in the basement the new movement issue affects the north northern and eastern boundaries of the complex according to last night's email okay let's um let's bring up some context here for mascot towers and i'll just jump over here so i've got this is at well this is from google earth and I'll make sure I'm st still talking to the microphone. We have, so 2018, 2019 images. These are the towers here. We're on sitting on Church Ave, sorry, not Church Street, Church Ave. And this is 27. Now there's a building there, now, today. And we'll look at that, that building. But as we'll exit Street View. So we'll go. So this is the northern and eastern boundaries. Wait. Okay, so this view, the aerial image, the aerial image has the the new construction, but the street view doesn't. So there, there's the building. Let's see, do 3D buildings turn on in Mascot? No, they don't. Look at all the photographs that people have uploaded. There you go. Looks nice. So... You can see here where the construction is and this is the building that they're concerned with and this just happens to be where they've got issues so the northern and eastern boundaries of the complex now in some ways that may be a good thing i know it sounds bad but to say that but think about it if it's a new building that's come out up and they've caused maybe some construction issues some damage maybe there's some issues with the underpinning to the neighboring building i don't know until we see the report but that means there's someone that the owners of mascot towers of all the poor people living in this the building here can take action against because the original builder is gone so sinking inaccurate from the owners corporation a spokesman for the owners corporation said today describing it as sinking was inaccurate there's been some differential settlement resulting in the currently observed building movements, at least in part, he said in a statement. But any interpretation of the building sinking at present is considered to be alarmist. The building engineers are continuing their investigation and monitoring. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, honestly, that's a very good point. And people are worried. 
everyone's saying i listened to alan you know true gb alan jones was talking to a, a engineer about this issue and the engineer was going oh people need to calm down people need to calm down and a lot of people are saying that we heard that from the bda when their president came on to sky news now it's good to say that from a professional perspective but these are people living in these homes these are people that have sp spent up to you know insane amounts of money 750 grand for a tiny one bedroom box so you've got every right to be pissed i could imagine if i bought in there oh boy i would i would not be a happy person to live with it would be a, a very 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 big test of uh an ability to remain stoic faced with this challenge of uh not being able to live in your bloody apartment so the email said that engineers had set up monitoring equipment outside the building on the already cordoned off church avenue and uh, burke street to measure external movements look at that they're even taken out there what they're dryers differential settlement settlement is where a building uh, supports foundation settles in an uneven fashion sometimes causing structural damage yeah i mean we've got that here we've got that here in my house the room i'm in is a little is a modern ish extension to a hundred year old queenslander over there the other side of the camera and you know it, it we had to actually cut down a whole lot of trees around our site because the roots and the water was just causing differential settlement in parts of the building so we really had to destroy our garden to slow down the uh, the movement in the ground of our buildings but because we had an old timber house it can move and grow and it doesn't really matter there's no concrete and the only concrete's in the piers whereas you know you can imagine a concrete building settling differentially what's going to happen so it is unclear whether the mascot train line which runs under the mascot tires vicinity is affected hmm two senior geological engineers have been engaged and are visiting the site this week with help from engineers australia the update said the decades old high rise was evacuated decade old sorry not decades on june 14th after engineers became concerned about continued cracking in the perimeter uh, sorry in the primary support beam in the basement's car park since then residents of its 132 units have been forced to stay elsewhere with costs quickly adding up as authorities scramble to determine who is at fault the week in australia last week reported that engineers had observed structural cracking of about 25 millimeters Ooh, down one wall of the building in a single day that's a lot with cracking expanding across several courses of bricks over three days on sunday the new south wales government announced a multi-million dollar assistance package until liability can be determined and these costs recovered there you go so the package of offers a one-off emergency loans to cover up to four hundred dollars per night for temporary accommodation for a period of up to three months but it remains unclear what will happen if no one is found to be at fault or if insurance or if insurance claims aren't paid out when asked to guarantee that residents themselves won't have to pay new south wales premier gladys b said the government was working through those issues the engineers haven't yet finalized their assessment she said the money for the loans will come from the interest accumulated in the new south wales government's rental bonds fund huh wow well at least honestly at least that interest is going to something worthy frankly as someone who's had to rent and pay bond and i never got a cent of the bloody interest i paid on that bond at least i would rather as someone who's paid bond i would rather see it go to people like this than to public servants let me know what you think in the comments guys if, you, if you're renting or if you've ever done it in the past would you rather see your money go to people in this dire strait than you know i don't know some additional public servants or the latest insane project the government's proposing so let's have a look at the neighboring building now in brisbane here in queensland it's really easy to get drawings of any developments particularly recent ones i can just go onto pd online on the council and i can get access to it now bayside council i can't find it it's not available none of the documents are available i can see the development applications for this property but i can't get any of the drawings which is a real shame so if any of you out there know how to get access to even the da drawings for either of these buildings easily because i can't happen to find them really i can't i can't seem to find them uh, maybe i'll i'll try looking at the architect i'll look them up hang on i'll pause now so i've done some digging and i've managed to find 
this report. Now, this is to do with solar access review and assessment for 27 Church Avenue. And in it, they have some drawings just to give us an understanding of the scale of the building. So this is the proposed development site. So it runs, you know, the full block of the site. And you can see here, you know, this is the site location. They've got some views of the different buildings. This here, and I'll zoom in here, this section just gives you an understanding of the scale of the development. So when we just see the front there on the renders and the pictures, there's all of this here behind. And look how many levels it's going down. You've got what? Uh, probably one, two, three basement or two basement there where they're excavating. So that's how much they're excavating, or at least on these drawings. You can have a look here. So this church, Ave, so here we go. Here's some part of mascot here. Here's the boundary where they have issue with and along here as well. Let's see what else we can find. I mean, most of this is to do just with the solar axis and the, the, the study, you know, sun's eye view. Wow, this take, I've, I haven't done this for a long time. I remember that. It's taking me back, taking me back looking at all this type of analysis. I've actually used use some path to generate a design for a uh, concept for a stadium I should show you all that one time so let's have a look I mean this is just giving us an understanding of the extent of that project isn't it I mean it's not the neighboring building isn't the small little one that we just see it's a big big project is there anything else here no okay it just shows you every single portion of it so guys if you want to get into solar analysis this is what you can produce but i mean this gives us an understanding of the scale of the project the scale of the project so we'll jump back here and we'll have a look at a few of just the apartments that they've got here so that they're advertising remember this building isn't occupied at the moment so they've you know nice pretty apartments you know, another tiny one, another tiny one, because it's so close to the train station. It's only 200 meters from the train station. But say you were coming here to buy one of these apartments, like someone just bought in Mascot a month ago. How would you know? And I've had, I think, Crypto Tim asked me in a comment some advice on what to request. And I'm just thinking a lot of the stuff you, there's only so much you can check. So here you go, here's the the view of the building and as we know now looking at that solar access report it goes a lot further back there's more to it i think the design has changed somewhat from what we looked at but you know the extent is there here's a big one there you go there's a two bedder guys who can afford the uh the two bedroom option oh look at that the white marble nice nice finishes at least you got two little windows there there you go. Oh, the marble's popular in the big, big slabs of marble. At least you can keep it clean. Yeah, that's a nice render, isn't it? It's a nice render. So there you go. Yeah, that's the same one and the same one. None of them have really a 3D view going through it. So that kind of gives us an understanding of the neighboring building. So what's been going on there? So guys, is mascot towers you know sinking is it an issue Let, let's have a look quickly at news.com's take on the same article see if there's anything different mascot towers moving downward according to engineers well differential settlement it could just be slight differences slight differences along the northern facade of the building and i will i moved everything around because i was doing this it could be slight differences along the northern along this boundary here that we see slight changes here that can cause all these a lot of issues and just moves through it can cause stress in the concrete the members it can go all the way through so we'll jump back to this city's mascot house appears to be moving downward yes 10 year old building evacuated so yeah it doesn't look like there's anything additional in this one two senior geotechnical engineers have been engaged yep premier poor people are getting yeah so people are worried so guys what do you think what do you think about all of this do you think the neighboring building could be part of it do you think it you know 
yeah, I mean, it's a big, big development right next to it. If it could have issues, but I heard that apparently they may have adjusted the water table as well. So then that affects the design there. So there's a lot more that we'll find out about this. There's going to be more reports. There's going to be more investigations. Um, and we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. It's not a small little thing that's been plonked right next to it, is it? Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me for this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye for now.